Tonight, an alleged sexual assault sparking a second night of protests at the University of Kansas. That crowd you see right there gathered about 90 minutes ago. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez is there. He joins us live to bring us up to speed. Andres, what's happening out there tonight? Well, Caitlin, at this hour, they are orderly. The Lawrence Police Department right now is keeping an eye on the crowd here who is chanting on the front yard of the Phi Kappa Psi House. The organizers here are doing this to support the victim and point the survivors of sexual assault to resources. Throughout the day, members of the Phi Kappa Psi fraternity try to erase reminders of a massive protest. That came to their doorstep demanding justice. We believe her! We believe her! According to campus police, on Sunday around 1 a.m., their officers went to a medical call where the victim told them she was sexually assaulted at the frat house. Officers referred her to Lawrence Police. One Tuesday afternoon said they take allegations of sexual assault very seriously, but for the victim's privacy, can't comment or provide details about sexual assault incidents or their investigations. Okay, you like this is your move now. We've done, we've shown our voices, like we've said what we need to say, and you need to do something about this. Around the same time, the University of Kansas released a statement along the same lines, writing, KU has robust processes to investigate reported instances of sexual assault and to hold accountable those individuals and organizations that are in violation of KU policies. They went on to point out resources for survivors. To help them find the power within themselves um, and let them know that they are they are truly the best advocates for themselves. In Lawrence, the Sexual Trauma and Abuse Care Center on 9th Street offers free therapy, education, and a 24-7 hotline survivors can call. The best case scenario is for somebody to reach out to us and, um, and to know that our services are used. Liz Evans, their campus advocate, believes protests like the ones we've seen are empowering to those who've experienced trauma. To have some sort of widespread acknowledgement and statement of belief um, to a survivor, I mean, I think that can be, that can be critical. Now, in between the chants, they are encouraging supporters to go ahead and file complaints against the fraternity in order to get them banned from KU. At this point, it's unclear if there'll be several hundred students back out here tomorrow night. But for now, reporting live in Lawrence, Honors Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.